Hi guys, I wanted to take you through the DOSE poster. So uh, if you're not familiar with DOSE, every letter of DOSE stands for something that represents a neurotransmitter. So if you think about your brain, your incredible brain, it's got millions of neurons and neurons are chemical messages that send messages throughout your body. Now the thing is between the neurons is this little gap called a synapse. And to make those messages spread really quickly and really effectively and to feel good, we need neurotransmitters. So there are tons of neurotransmitters and there are loads of different ways to get them. We at Grow Your Mind teach the DOSE acronym as some simple ways to, to just start channeling about this idea of getting your dose of well-being every day. So I'm going to take you through each letter. And when we come to the end, I want you to make a little plan for which neurotransmitter you plan on trying to get today. So let's start with D. So I'm going to get my little pointer so that you can see where I am. Here we've got dopamine. So dopamine is a neurotransmitter that we get when we set goals. Okay. That's one way that we can get dopamine. There's other ways. So for instance, for me today, one of my goals was, was to create this lesson and share it with students around the world. So I'm doing that. I wrote it down in my goal, but I also put next to my goal, a perceived barrier that I had. What do I mean by that? So I'm working from home. A barrier for me might be that my dog might come in and interrupt me at any point. So next to the barrier, I came up with one plan that I am going to take if Bertie were to rudely interrupt me. Now my plan would be and has been that I've actually put Bertie outside while I record this lesson. So that is my goal and I, I envisioned my barrier and I came up with something that I could do to address that barrier. Uh, now, that's one way that you can get your hit of dopamine. And it's really good actually guys, while you're at home or wherever you might be, is to set goals either the night before or the morning when you wake up for the things that you really wanna achieve that day to make the most of your day. And it can be flexible, it doesn't have to be super serious, but it's really good idea to set goals and start to tick them off. Now the next neurotransmitter is one of my favorites. It's O and it's oxytocin. Now, as you can see, flower dude here is giving the guard dog a nice big cuddle, which is pretty lovely. Now that's because we get oxytocin when we are kind and loving towards other people. When we think of ways to be a benefit, when we offer to help without being asked, when we, for instance, uh, you know, say to your parents, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the one that unloads the dishwasher, or I'm gonna set the table, or I'm going to be flexible with my sibling, whatever it might be, you come up with a plan of how you are going to be kind today. Maybe it's three actions that you have that you are going to really show kindness towards a certain person. And knowing that when you do this, you get your oxytocin. Now the next one is serotonin. Now flower dude here is, is taking some nice deep breathing and probably listening to some great music. So by all means, you could go and do that. You could go and lie on your bed and play your favorite bit of music, knowing that you're getting your hit of serotonin. Or perhaps you might make a really cool playlist that you love that brings you a bit of joy and then listen to it, knowing again, you are getting your S, your serotonin. And the last letter on your dose poster is E and it stands for endorphins. Now, as you can see, flower dude here is wearing some sweatbands, taking exercise very seriously. Moving our body is a really easy way to get our hit of endorphins. Um, now you might make a plan that you are going to go for a run, that you are going to go for a walk, that you are going to do a set of, you know, maybe some chin-ups and, and push-ups and sit-ups, um, that you're going to watch some yoga, uh, that you are going to do, download Joe's PE or whatever it is, you know, find a way that you are going to move your body, knowing that when you do, you get your hit of endorphins. So a reminder, dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, endorphins. What I want you to do now is pause and write down one of these neurotransmitters and your plan for getting it today. And then what I want you guys to do is, is let your teacher or let me know about how you're going with your dose of wellbeing, and which neurotransmitters you think you're getting. Okay, guys, good luck. May the force be with you.